7 Crazy Military Robots That Actually Exist The United States Army is a good example of how robotics can be used in the military. These military robots were successful in tracking Osama as well as other terrorists. They are hardy, they are obedient, they are bold, they do not fear death, and most importantly, they have demonstrated their worth in both Iraq and Afghanistan. Drum strikes have made terrorists live in constant fear. The application of robotics technology in the military paved the way for the development of a new subfield within robotics known as Robotics used in the military Number 7. MAARS The Modular Advanced Armed Robotics System, also known as MAARS for short, is an unmanned robot that was built expressly for use in the military. It's already started spawning arguments on the ethicality of employing robots as tools for killing in war, and these debates have already begun. The MAARS robot has the capability of being supplied with a variety of remote-operated weaponry, including both lethal and non-lethal auctions, satellite tracking systems, day and night cameras, a hostile fire detection system, and a buffet of weapons in between. Troops are kept at a safe distance from enemy fire thanks to MAARS, which enables them to efficiently carry out security tasks, such as ambushes, hostage rescue, force entry, booby-trapped areas, detainee riots, site security, and IE. It is possible to remotely put RSTA sensors at important sites up to several kilometers away, which will alert personnel to potential dangers and make it possible for them to act immediately, if necessary. MARS is only put into operation by its operator after receiving decoded instructions, as it is equipped with several different safety mechanisms. Where the rules of engagement row, call for an increase in the use of force, MARS is equipped to provide multiple options for the escalation of that force. These options range from non-lethal laser dazzlers and audio deterrents to less-than-lethal grenades to lethal fires from a grenade launcher or machine gun. Number 6. Dogo. The Dogo robot is a cutting-edge tactical combat robot that was designed to operate as a watchdog for soldiers operating in dangerous environments. It is armed with a 9mm Glock pistol. This robot, which was designed by General Robotics, is the earthbound analog of the widespread use of military drones. The most intriguing aspect of the Dogo is the fact that a fully armed commando can carry it in one hand even though it weighs approximately 26 pounds. According to reports, the Research and Development Directorate of the Defense Ministry, as well as the counter-terror section of the Israeli police were involved in the design process of the anti-terrorism program Dogo. According to GAL, special forces, SWAT teams, and operators trained in close quarters combat CQP use Dogo as a means of surveillance and as a pioneer sending it into a fatal funnel to provide situational awareness and remote engagement capability to increase the survivability of the entire team. This helps increase the survivability of the entire team. Before the development of Dogo, the only method to acquire such powers was to put a member of the team in harm's path by exposing them to the possibility of being shot by both the enemy and their allies. Number 5. Sapphire. The Shipboard Autonomous Firefighting Robot, often known as SAFIR, is a military robot that measures 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighs 143 pounds. The robot was built by researchers at Virginia Tech to put out flames that occur on naval ships. These researchers were responsible for developing the robot. Although SAFIR cannot stand on its own without the assistance of a tether, it can take calculated steps and use a fire hose. Today, the Office of Naval Research is putting the knowledge it obtained from the original SAFIR program to use to develop new and more advanced robotic prototypes. These prototypes emphasize significantly improved mobility and autonomous capabilities, allowing them to navigate confined spaces more and carry out additional functions aboard naval ships. Nadia and Draco are the names of two prototypes that are now undergoing development in this area. Nadia is being developed in partnership with IEMC in Florida, partnering with the University of Texas and Uptronic. Its one-of-a-kind mechanism design gives it a range of motion that is beyond that of a human, allowing it to navigate difficult environments with ease. The end goal is for SAFIR to work in conjunction with naval officers rather than to take their place entirely. Number 4. Rice. Rice is an insect-like climbing robot that was developed by Boston Robotics. It has micro-clawed feet that allow it to easily scale rough surfaces, such as walls, fences, and trees. It's being created through a partnership between Boston Dynamics Incorporated, Stanford University, Carnegie Mellon University, University of California Berkeley, and Lewis and Clark University. The RIACI project's objective is to design and build a climbing robot that is inspired by biological organisms and can walk on flat ground as well as scale steeper terrain. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, is providing funding for this study. Number 3. MUT. 
The acronym MUTT, which stands for Multi-Utility Tactical Transport, refers to an autonomous ground vehicle that is available in both wheeled and tracked configurations. The combatants are accompanied by MUTT, which makes travel simpler by reducing the amount of equipment that they need to carry when traversing challenging terrain on foot. This self-driving military vehicle is available in three different sizes, tracked 6x6 and 8x8. The 8x8 MIDI has a length of 112 inches and a width of 60 inches, and it can transport up to 1,200 pounds. It has the capability of delivering up to 3,000 watts of electricity, and has a range of up to 60 miles on a single tank of gas. MUTIG is a semi-autonomous robotic platform that can be outfitted with a variety of modular mission payloads. This decreases the amount of physical stress that is placed on the dismounted soldier. It is the most user-friendly, capable, and dependable unmanned ground vehicle UGV, that has ever been manufactured, and it is the first vehicle of its kind to be chosen for service alongside dismounted troops. MUTI makes use of innovative techniques of control, such as the dismount following tether or the simple-to-operate one-handed RC controller. Both of these features help to reduce the mental and physical strain placed on soldiers while they are engaged in dismounted operations. Number 2. GuardBot The GuardBot is a surveillance robot that can roll on any surface, including snow, sand, and dirt. It is amphibious and can swim as well. This surveillance robot is capable of not only moving across any terrain, but also swimming. GuardBot was at first developed for use in expeditions to Mars. It features two surveillance cameras, a battery that has a runtime of up to 25 hours, microphones, and GPS, which enables it to be operated remotely as well as via satellites. It also comes in a more compact model that may be used to search beneath automobiles as security checks. It is possible to control GuardBot remotely as well as via satellites thanks to the fact that it is equipped with two surveillance cameras, a battery that can last for up to 25 hours, microphones, and GPS. It is still in the process of being developed and the military is investigating the possibility of deploying it for future operations. Number 1. Gladiator The Gladiator tactical unmanned ground vehicle was developed to assist in the execution of ship-to-objective maneuvers by the United States Marine Corps STOM. It makes use of a transportable robotic system of small to medium size to reduce the risks to marines and eliminate any threats they may face across the spectrum of warfare. It has the appearance of a tiny tank, yet in its most basic version, it is capable of performing missions such as scouting and surveillance, NBC reconnaissance, direct fire, and breaking personnel obstacles. With image intensification or thermal devices, Gladiator can deliver day and night remote visual acuity comparable to that of an individual marine. Functions Make use of software for remote imagery to transmit photos, both day and night photographs, as well as thermal images. Support on the battlefield, including observation and reconnaissance missions as well as assault and breaching operations. Modular design that enables the attachment of standard interfaces for mission payloads, such as an electric megaphone and slash or siren, slash dazzler, slash tear gas generator, slash searchlight subsystems, such as in this example. Protected against rounds of ammunition with a caliber of up to 7.62 mm to maintain its operational capacity. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.